games. Whoop. Let's go. Uh, Hersty Games, and this is how we do. Now it's time. Hey there, guys. To... Welcome back to Hersty Games, and welcome back to the QPR Crow mode. I want to throw a massive apology out there for this being so long between episodes, and that is entirely my fault. As I said to you guys not too long ago on the channel, obviously work has been taking over most of my spare time, but. I'm trying to work out a new sort of weekly schedule where I can fit in two videos a week, one of which being the QPR career mode, and hopefully this will be the start of the QPR career mode coming back to the channel. Now, one thing I do want to say, I did actually record another episode of this a while ago, we're talking like a couple of months ago, and I, being stupid me, did actually delete at one point uh, all of the videos and stuff that I had on my PC that I thought I'd use and upload and everything. And one of them was the last career mode episode and I do really apologize so it means there's actually four games that weren't uploaded to the channel. The last episode we finished at game 30 and as you can see we have played 34. To keep you guys in the loop we actually had a really good time of it. We drew against Middlesbrough, we won um, at Barnsley, won at home against Hull and then won at home against Blackpool. So in the last episode we did get ourselves 10 points out of a possible 12 and we are in sixth place. So things looking okay but today we're going to try and get... A good chunk of other games done. So we're going to start off with the game against Blackburn. Then we have a cup game against Bristol City. Then we've got Cardiff, Luton, Forest, and Peterborough uh, to finish off March. Now I can't guarantee we're going to get through all of those games, but I'm going to try and get through as many as I can. I am going to utilize the simming system like we did in part of other episodes recently uh, in the series. So we are going to try and sim some stuff as well to help us get through these games just that little bit quicker um, because we're not too far away from the end of this first season. So hopefully the plan, the aim is going to be that uh, within the next couple of weeks, next couple of episodes, we'll finish off this season and jump into our next one. So without further ado, we're going to get the team ready and we're going to get ready for our first game on the crew mode in some time. And that is against Blackburn. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the starting 11 for today. A few changes to what would be our normal 11 for this career mode. And that's mainly down to fitness. So we've got Senny, Hamer, Barbe, Dickey, Udabagio, Field, Amos, Coles, Willock, Campbell and Austin up front. So a few changes in there, sort of like three or four from our normal 11. But regardless, we're going to jump into it and hopefully come away with three very important points. I also am going to put it on to Legendary. I've not played Career Mode in a little while, but I'm going to set it to Legendary. So I'll do that and then we'll jump into the game. Now, I may regret putting it on Legendary because I haven't really played against like a Career Mode team in a long time. I've not played Career Mode itself in a long, long time. I've done some like simmed Career Modes, but haven't really done a played one in a long old time. So hopefully that doesn't end up biting me in the ass. And it could do. It could very easily be that that's the most stupid decision I could have done today. But regardless, let's get into it. Let's hope and pray that we can uh, come away with at least a point today, but three points obviously is the aim. Come on, you ours. That's a really nice ball over the top there. Got to be careful here. Adebagio, go on, Moses. Good lad. Good, good stuff. Keeping that one out. And hopefully now we can maybe bring this away here. We've got Chrissy Willock on the attack down this right-hand side. Bit of space in front of him. Going to play it inside to Charlie Austin. We play it first time back out. Not quite. Not quite the pass we needed, but looked good on the counter. We maybe just need to be a little bit quicker. Sadly, that's not Austin's strong point. Played it out to their left-hand side again. Adebagio is going to do one left to sort of Force a bad pass, and Willett gets involved twice there to win that. And now we bring it away, but not very well. Dickey's played it right to their man on the edge of the box. Good block there from Johan Barbe, and we do bring it away again. But we're not good with possession, and we're giving these chances away to them early on there. Super Senny with a super save. Come on, boys. Lost the ball here. Bad space. Senny Dieng with another fantastic save. I do feel like Senny Dieng is going to be huge, especially against Legendary. I think he's going to have to have a bit of a good game here. But well done there from uh, Dickey to get this ball to Amos. And now maybe Amos with a good pass here. Tyrese Campbell, mate. Use your pace, Tyrese. Onto his left foot. It's a good shot, but it's saved. That was a shot. Oh, Charlie Austin nearly gets it in the back of the net. That header there from Tyrese Campbell was a shot. It was absolutely woeful, though. But now we've got a chance here. Adebagio is going to just about keep it. Edge of the box. I have got a cough. I do apologise, Willock. Not quite yet. If I cough during this episode, apologies. I have a cough. Barbe's going to have to get there quickly. He does eventually get that. That was a bit of a problem. Hame is going to bring that one away. But again, the passing in this back third is causing us problems because we are just giving away chance after chance possession galore, basically, to Blackburn here in the early stages. But now, Field has got a chance to burst through. Austin was the man running through. Would have been nice if it was Campbell because I feel like Campbell would have at least kept ahead of the defence, but it wasn't to be. Got to be careful here. Another chance here on the attack. Hamer's going to come out to his man. It's passed to the edge of the box here. Oh, I've left him. Oh, that's poor for me. It's in off the post. It's a bit of a lucky shot in the end. But that's poor defence for me, I have to say. I've left the man with far too much space. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, 
That's frustrating. That's that's a frustrating one to concede. It, it was my fault moving Dickie out of the way. I tried to sort of mark the run here. Look, you can see I pulled Dickie there to like mark his forward run. Simple one too. Senny Dieng has been fantastic, but he's not going to save that one. And it's 1-0 to Blackburn Rovers. Hamer on the ball here. I could do with Isaac Coles making me a run. He's thought about it eventually. It's not the best pass from Hamer, but he is going to keep it alive. Plays it into Tyrese Campbell. Can we find Charlie Austin? Oh, not quite. Linden would have got there. I think just that little turn of pace, the little uh, sort of, you know, uh, the acceleration from, uh, from Charlie was just doing him a little bit dirty there. That's unlucky. We're getting close, but we're not getting enough chances. We're not testing the keeper at all. Oh, that is far too easy. They have carved our defence open with one through ball. About four players cut out of that there from that one pass. And Raggers is how I'm going to say that name. I have no idea if that's how you say it. Apologies. Uh, but look at this. Look, one pass, four or five players completely cut out of the mix with that. Again, it's not great defence for me. There's not loads I can do about that pass in particular. But this is disappointing, boys. This is disappointing. 2-0 down at the break is just not where we need to be right now. Uh, maybe the legendary step was a little bit too much for me when I haven't played Crimin in a while. That's on me. That's a decision I made, though, so I've only got myself to blame for that one. Um, I don't think I'm going to make any changes right now at the break. I think at some point, Dozzle coming on for probably Amos is the play. Actually, hmm, no, I'm not going to do that. We've got the Cup game up next, so I think we're going to rotate a little bit with the Cup. I think we have really concentrate on the league right now because I think pushing for playoffs and promotion is what we've got to try and do here. So I think that's going to be our main focus. Let's go for it, boys. Second half, we need more, basically. We've got to defend better, but we've got to offer more because we didn't offer enough. Field on the ball here. Going to play it out wide to Coles. Going to play it back again to Sammy Field. Out to Hamer. It's There's no movement here. There's not enough movement, which at times is classic QPR. Not enough movement for each other in the attacking third. We get it back to Charlie. He's going to shoot. He's absolutely swift it, boys. It uh, did get a deflection, though. Okay, it did get a deflection. At least it wasn't just a straight swift from... Big man Charlie Austin. Let's whip this one in there. Let's see if Charlie can get his head in there. It's going to Barbe instead, but the defender's got there first. Ah, oh, edge the box. Again, they've played it in. Thankfully, again, Senny Dieng with a good save, and we do get this one away. I've got some substitutions, all three actually, lined up to give us, you know, 20 minutes of a couple of players with fresh legs. And hopefully, they can come on, and it can only be a one-goal deficit, as Isaac Coles is just bursting forward here. Isaac May, oh, it's not good enough. I should have played the through ball a bit quicker to Tyrese Campbell, but at the time I just thought, no, you know what? Coles has got the beating of this man and we can get the space forward here, but Coles is going to have to sort of circle round here. We get the ball to field. Campbell out to Coles. It's a poor, poor decision for me to pass it out. I should have just taken the shot with Campbell. I've wasted another chance, boys. I've wasted another chance. 15 minutes to go, and as I said, I have got some changes lined up, and I'm making all three of them. Lyndon Dykes is going to come on for Charlie Austin. Uh, we've got Dozzle coming on for Field, and Coles is going off with Ilias Chair coming on. Mainly it's down to fitness. A couple of players that maybe I'll try and uh, play in the cup game to sort of rest first team players. Dykes, I'm just kind of trying to come up with a bit of a late option to give us something. Uh, but here, the fresh legs of Dozzle bursting forward from CDM. Not necessarily the player I expect to be through here. But Dozzle is going to have a go. And he's going to find the back of the net with an emphatic finish right in that top corner. That really is a belter there from Dozzle on his left foot. Ten minutes to go. Maybe just maybe we have half a chance here of trying to grab something. It's a late goal, but it's a really nice run. Dozzle with a really, really good run forward here. And I thought, just try and get it on that left foot. And he, that is a fantastic finish. That is top corner, top bins from the man in the midfield there. So fair play. Dozzle, Dozzle. I say his name wrong all the time. I think it's Dozzle. I say Dozzle. I, I don't know how you say it. But, mate. Big dub. There we go. 2-1. 10 minutes to go. Who knows? Come on, boys. 2-1. Come on. Nice ball here. Lyndon Dykes. Going to look up and then pass it out here to Amos. The CDMs running these wings here, running these channels and making the space and the, the runs forward. It's a it's a nice pass, but oh, Ilias just couldn't quite get there. There's five minutes on the clock. It's a lot to ask, boys, but we've got to just go for it. Team press, everything. Come on. Oh, it's a good ball in the middle here. He's laid it off backwards. Look at this play. Look at that play. Uh, there's uh, there's nothing I can do against that. The, the tick attack of the beautiful football. There was nothing I can do. That's that's a big goal for, for Blackburn there as well. It's a good finish for them. Uh, to sort of see that. Oh, I wanted to watch the replay. I've, I've skipped everything. I wanted to just skip the celebrations. But, man, just when it looked like we were potentially pushing to, to try and get something from this game. 
it ends up going against us. And, and the last goal goes their way. 3-1 in the end. Full-time whistle goes. I think Legendary was a step too far for me there in that first game. But I think also it was a slight personnel issue. Uh, the lack of pace from Austin uh, was definitely evident. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think we were a little bit unlucky. I do think we were a little bit unlucky. Two very, very good goals. The first one was, was my mistake. Lovely goal from Dozel, but it wasn't to be. 3-1. Sad to take it. Not exactly the way I wanted to come back to this series. Uh, didn't really want to come back and get an immediate loss after having like four wins or four games without a loss on the bounce. But those games will happen regardless. Uh, now we're looking forward to the Bristol City Cup game, which we will sim. We'll, we'll sort of watch sim that as it goes through. And we can jump in if we want to. But we'll watch sim that one because I think the league right now has to be our priority. So it's going to be a bit of a rotated side, this one. We do also have a youth system report here, and I have to say, El Basir, I remember beforehand him looking pretty darn decent, him going to be a very, very good talent for us. Uh, you've also got Naji, or Naji, however you say it, going to be a good option for us, but still 15, so we can't really call him up anytime soon. El Basir, though, I think we'll look to call him up at the end of the season and then try and get him loaned out next season uh, because I think that's the best shout for him, especially if we're potentially trying to look at getting that promotion. Who knows, boys? We'll see what we can do. But regardless, the main thing we've got to focus on is this next game. But some good options still coming through, but they're not going to get into the team anytime soon. Okay, so you can see a bit of rotation here. Dieng, Hamer, Device, Dicky, Osman, Mr. Kakai back in. Johansson, Dozel, Chair, Adoma, Campbell, Austin. So a bit of rotation, but also a couple of the players that would have played the last game staying in this because they're probably going to then work back into the bench for the next league game. So I'd like to try and rest Campbell at some point if I can. Maybe look to rest Ilias, Johansson, those kind of players uh, to sort of rotate the main team back in for the next league game. But regardless, we're going to get into this cup game and hopefully, hopefully we can come up with something. I'll do what I do normally, which is sort of show you guys the highlights. So I'll see you guys when something happens. I have to say 20 or so minutes in so far, not really much to shout about. That there is their first real chance. Um, and we haven't, I don't think, had a shot yet. So, yeah, it's been a very scrappy sort of first 25 or so minutes uh, with not too much to really shout about. Well, first proper effort, and apparently I think it was saved by Senny or got a deflection, but I don't know how that didn't go in. Uh, and I'm even less sure as to how it was a corner. But regardless, that's the best chance of the game so far. And there we have it, halftime in one of the least eventful games I've ever seen. Uh, not really much to shout about, not really much going on. Um, honestly, I don't know what changes I'm going to make. I'd like to bring off Campbell, as I said before, and Ilias at some point. Ozzy's pretty knackered, so I'm actually going to bring on Moses straight away there. Um, I'm not too sure. I'd like to bring on Duke McKenna just because it's experience for him, if I'm being honest with you. But for now, I think we'll let this play out. If it's still nil-nil at like maybe the 60th, 65th, I might jump in, but we'll see. Regardless, nil-nil, second half, we need to do more because we didn't do anything in the first half. Okay, we're on like the 65th or so minute and there's been very little going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off Campbell. I'm going to bring on Linden. Uh, we're going to bring on uh, Duke McKenna for um, Ilias as well. I want Ilias playing the next uh, league game. I want him fit and ready for that as well. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make those changes and then actually I'm going to let this attack finish. I'm glad I did. And then we'll jump in, okay? Uh, so it's got about 20 or so minutes, 25 minutes left. Thankfully, Senny just made a great save. Let's see if we can win this one. Duke McKenna, first real chance to do anything here. He's going to bring this ball forward here. Go on, Duke, mate. Go on, Dukey boy. Inside to Linden. Over the top. It's down to Charlie. Charlie on that right foot. That's a fantastic save from Bentley. Very, very good save indeed. I maybe should have taken another touch just to give him maybe a bit of a clearer opportunity rather than letting it EA bounce through his leg uh, because that just doesn't happen. It'll be nice to stay in the FA Cup if we can. So it'll be good to try and see this one through if we can. Header from Charlie. And it goes over. Naki Wells on the pitch, boys. Naki bloody Wells. Oh, Adebagio has won this in a great position now. And now he's making sort of like the Albert Adoma run. Not where I wanted that ball, but it's a good pass in the end to Duke McKenna. Plays it forward to Charlie Austin, who his pace just does him dirty in this game. It really does. It just makes it difficult to try and really take anyone on with him, which is such a shame because it's how I play. That's a hell of a touch from the player there. And that is Naki Wells. I'm almost 100% sure Naki Wells has scored against us. Oh, boys. The, the touch from the, I don't know who it was, the winger. The touch to take it past Tamer here. Look at that. That is outrageous. 
I've bottled the tackle with the vice and Naki Wells doing what Naki Wells does and that's scoring goals and that's 1-0. I am so glad I brought this series back. I'm so good at career mode. Lovely stuff here. Vizel's going to bring this ball forward. Linden, make me that run, mate. Duke McKenna's making a good run. Let's play it to Duke. Go on, Dukey boy. Go on. Bring that forward. Can we play the sweat back? Anyone there? Linden was there, but Duke McKenna couldn't find it through two players. Bring it down there from Hamer. Lovely stuff. Into Johansson. Johansson now. I wanted that to Charlie. He's tried to play it to Linden. It was an impossible pass. And they've done what they need to do, which is just play it around at the back. And that's full time. I brought this crew back. And in two games, I have two losses. So... It's not going great for me. Uh, the almighty return has not gone well. We're also at the cup. So, sick. Okay, so despite the loss in the last game, uh, in the league that is, we're still in the top six. We have got a bit of a cushion here above Nottingham Forest, but I'd still rather try and catch up with the teams above us. I'm not going to lie to you. See, if we'd won that game, uh, we'd have been... Uh, actually, we would have been ahead of Sheffield United on goal difference. So that really is a shame. But we're still 10 points away from the automatics. But we're 7 points clear of the teams that below us. So I'm confident we can turn this around. And hopefully, I've got the 11 players that I need fit to start the Cardiff game. Then we're in a much better position. Let's find out. The answer to that question, yes, we have the players fit that we need fit. Especially against this five at the back that Cardiff offer. You can see our starting 11. I would say that's probably our start, strongest starting 11. Maybe minus Coles coming in for either Willock or Ilias. But for now, I'm very happy with what we've got. We're going to go at this game. We've got to get three points, boys. The main focus for this match is we have to pick up a win here. We have to stop the rut of bad form and bad games that we're in right now. And we need to get ourselves three points. Because that's going to be the best way to catch up the teams above us. Is by picking up points consistently. Which we haven't done today. But in the rain. At the kind prince. Let's make it happen boys. Come on you us. Oh Johansson's won that in a fantastic position. And now Johansson threw one on one. And he's hit it with his right foot. You can see he's finessed it. Because I've tried to move it onto his left foot. And finesse it with his stronger foot. I've moved it to his left. Why does he adjust himself and hit it with his right? I can't believe that. I feel like we've been absolutely robbed of a goal there. Because that is a real clear set chance there with Stefan Johansson. I, I cannot believe he's decided to take that on his right. When I've moved it to his left. Ilias can't quite get his shot away. Willock's going to keep this ball alive though. Going to have to play backwards. I'm still getting over what has just happened there. And the fact that it is not it is not 1-0 to us, man. That is so frustrating. It's a good ball in here. Seni Dieng can just leave it over. I have to say, we've kept Cardiff pretty quiet going forward, if nothing else. But we've had chances. We just haven't converted. Obviously, Johansson's chance being the biggest of the game so far. Frustrated we didn't score it. Fantastic chance here, actually, as we speak. Sadly, doesn't work out. We're getting a lot of chances like that. Well, we're just... Maybe the final pass is just missing. And it's just stopping us from getting uh, a clear-cut chance. But that kind of has been the theme of this series so far. Linden, I think, is just offside. He is. But we're making the chances. We need to score, though. I don't want to go in at nil-nil. I'd like to go in at least 1-0 up. Because that would just calm the nerves a little bit. My nerves more than anything, I'm going to be honest. Johansson brings the ball forward. Going to play it up now to Ilias. Ilias cuts inside, has a finesse. It's a good effort, but it's a good save from Phillips. It would have taken a lot to get past him. Again, chances are appearing, but not clear-cut enough. Kind of potentially ending the half here with a chance. It's a good attempt at across two very good blocks there from Hamer. We've maybe got time to just bring this forward and try one attack before the half-time. And we did have enough time. The ref decided otherwise. Uh, that was a fantastic through ball there for Tyrese to run to because Tyrese has got the pace I think he'd have got that but it's going to be nil nil at half time I think that's been a very good half from us uh, I think we've played very very well I am going to have to take off Johansson he has absolutely done in boys uh, I'm going to bring on Dezel I think he's played very well um, today when he has played and when we've used him so I'm going to bring him on and give him a few minutes I think Coles will come on for Campbell at some point Campbell is just a little bit tired you know what I'm going to make that half-time change. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make that change. Coles is going to come on. I'm going to play as a centre forward. So he'll probably drop just a little bit behind Dykes. And sort of be like that shadow striker. Um, sort of almost play like a... Kind of like a number 10, I guess. Um, time will tell. Let's see, let's see how this game goes for us. And uh, let's see 
if we can uh, if we can do what we need to do. Come on, boys, let's, let's try and get that goal. And if we can do it quickly, that'd be great, because Osman here, inside to Linden, not the best pass. Good interception. Wasn't to be. Gotta be careful here. Dicky comes inside. That is a good save from Senny Dieng, and it needed to be, because I think that's James Collins. We'd had that chance there. And thankfully, it didn't make its way in, but that's their first chance. And if they'd have gone 1-0 up on their first chance, I'd have been devastated with how we've played. Linden, great tackle there in a great spot as well. Now he's going to try and bring this forward. You can see the numbers they are defending in. I just cannot get a clear-cut chance consistently. And that is going to be our downfall if we don't get three points from today. That will be what it is. A lack of clear-cut chances from lots of possession and lots of like good attacking possession as well. But not getting the clear-cut chances because of the numbers back. I just can't get through that five I might need to change something for the last sort of 20 minutes or so. But let's see if we can do something here. Willock outside here to Osman. Going to play it to the edge here to Amos. Amos, lovely turn. Look at the five of them just back there. Linden, it's a good block. Amos, it's another good block. Giles getting there twice. A uh, Flint, sorry, getting there twice. Man, I'm going to change formation. I'm going to do that. I might make a sub. Let's see when that happens because it's about 10, 15 minutes left. Let's, let's, let's just do it. A good cross there. It's at that close post and Senny has to react to it. Has to get it over because the header was just looping over the top of him. But it's a good save. There's a corner obviously for Cardiff. We've got 10 minutes left. I've gone to a 4-2-4. I've gone very attacking. Full backs are getting forward. Odebaje on for Osman because of fitness and because of how much we're getting the ball to Ozzy out wide. Some fresh legs with Willock and, um, and Odebaje attacking on that right wing. Hopefully will maybe just open something up for us. Maybe give us an option. Time will tell. All we can do is try. Bizzell's going to try and bring this forward. Going to have to turn back because he is very equally matched there. But I'm going to just play this out. Lovely ball there to Willock. Can we maybe bring this forward now? This is why I need Urjabagio on that overlap. Oh, man, I just can't break through this team. There's so many of them back. Barbe finds Willock. Willock now with a good bit of space. He's going to get ahead of Flint. Can he get the ball in there? He can. But he can't get there ahead of the keeper. Good save there from Phillips again because Cole's was there, but the keeper just got his touch in before. Oh, this is late into the game. This would be absolutely outrageous if anything had happened there. But we come out of that without a goal. The issue we have had is not putting away chances. The five at the back was too much. I wish I changed the four in attack a little bit earlier on. But we were getting chances. And I, I was confident we could make that finishing chance and get that chance we needed to. But... We just can't catch a break today, boys. We just can't catch a break. Okay, I've pissed off uh, Mr. Johansson here. Not happy at all with uh, being substituted. But I need him to stay fit. His fitness was at like half. I need him to stay fit. So I didn't really have a choice there. But regardless, we now thankfully have a bit of a break between our next game against Luton, which uh, I probably will play as well. Um, we just got We just got to fix things, man. We just can't keep dropping points if i want to catch up to teams around us again sheffield united dropping points they got a, a loss and then a draw in their last two games they've matched what we've done if we'd have won either of those games we'd have been ahead of them so just goes to show we need to uh we need to fix up a bit okay strongest 11 again Ilias and cole swapping we just have to give it our all boys we do just have to give it our all we just have to go into this game and really try and take this game by the scruff of the neck so that's all we can do um, up against, obviously, a four at the back this time, which is hopefully going to be the difference here. Hopefully the difference is the four at the back because the five was so hard to break down for Cardiff. We, we got the ball forward plenty, but we just... There were too many players in the way at, like, any given moment. So all we can hope for today is, is a turnaround and uh, a turn of form. We got a point last time. We need three this time. Let's go. We've got a chance here with Coles just absolutely bursting down the wing. But he has been caught up. Now we're going to cut inside. Plays it to Linden. Out wide there to Willock. A really nice pass to Willock as well. Oh, I wanted it down to Campbell, bro. The passing. I think in the last episode, I remember talking about passing, doing his dirty. He's doing the same today. Oh, that's a good ball. Got to be careful here. Please. Not like this. Every time. Every time the AI's through against me. I just have a feeling they're going to score. I just feel like they're going to score against me. There's nothing I can do about it. 
All I can do, all I can do is make the most of my chances, which I haven't been. I have not been making the most of my chances. Easy play there. Simple, like, little one to Hamer, nowhere to be seen. Senny beat it his close post, but it's absolutely thumped into the back of the net. Oh, we're 1-0 down, and yet again, yet again, we're behind. Tyrese Campbell here does his best to take it past that man. He's got the pace, so I know he can beat him, and he has. And now he's going to set away Linden. Linden Dykes. Please, son. Linden bloody Dykes. That's what we needed. It's his first goal of the episode today, and boy, have we needed it, because we have not been good in front of goal. Only one goal before this one, and that was with Dazelle. I'm super happy to get a goal, but it's frustrating to have already conceded. But regardless, we take the positives. Really good counter-attack. Lovely play from Tyrese Campbell to bring it forward. Lyndon Dykes with a lovely finish as well. Back in front of goal and back doing what he needs to do. And that is scoring. 1-1. One, one, time to go. No need to panic. Let's get a second. Let's now get the lead. Osman here. Going to play this ball over the top. Tyrese Campbell through on goal. Lovely save. I was offside. I thought I just timed it right with Aussie's pass. But apparently... I left it just a bit too slow. Oh, it's close, you know. I think he's onside. Maybe boy's head and shoulder keeps him on. I think he was... I mean, I missed it, but I think I think he was onside. I won't lie to you. Var in the bin, question mark. Cole's going to bring this forward. Plays it into Campbell. Campbell going to try and set away Linden again. Doesn't quite, but this time we're going to play it out to Willock. He's just got to bring this down. Good first touch. I'm going to try and set this across now to Linden. Linden Dykes on his right foot with a good rocket there. But it's a good save from the keeper. Very good save. Really good power behind that. Got some, some right welly behind the ball. It's a good corner. Linden going to be up to it but isn't going to win the header initially. Going to try and play it back out wide here to Coles. Coles going to play it short into Willock. Edge the box now to Johansson. Johansson. Just gonna, oh, I was going to say, just going to unleash him. I do regret that. That was terrible. Oh my god, what a save that is from Seni Dieng. I don't know if that hit Barbe last, or if it was their player who got the touch. But that would have been a terrible moment to have conceded, just on the stroke of half-time. Especially if it had been an own goal. Seni Dieng yet again doing us the business, and yet again help on his out. Because, my god, we've needed him throughout this season, not just today. Um, honestly, happy with how the game's going. I think at some point we'll bring on... Um, Either Adoma or Ilias. And then we've got the option to bring somebody on, obviously, for Amos. Probably going to be Sammy Field in the middle of the park there. But for now, I think we crack on with what we've got. Have noticed Amos has gone up to 70 as well, which is actually fantastic to see. Because Amos is somebody that I really do quite like. Uh, and I'd like to try and keep throughout this uh, save if we can. So, I don't know what I'm thinking that far ahead. We need to think about this game. We need to think about the second half. Let's get the second goal. Let's try and secure three points. Because we have yet done that in today's episode. And my God, we need to. Linden going to play this ball all the way out here to Coles. Coles going to cut inside. Lovely turn there. He's got Hamer overloading on the outside. But we've got it to Linden. Linden on his right foot. It's another good effort. But it's another very good save. I have to say both keepers having a good game today. Uh, the looting keeper specifically. I don't know if it's Sluger. I don't actually know uh, who the keeper is for them today. I won't lie to you. But I have to say making some very, very good saves. And both keepers have been on point. And have had to be as well. Just coming up to the hour mark. It's still 1-1. The corner is cleared. We're going to bring that ball down though. Willock plays it across to Dickey. Dickey inside to Amos, who's it's a good tackle. It's a very good tackle. I'm going to make a sub. Going to get that prep for the next time the ball goes off the pitch. But for now, we carry on. It's still 1-1. Cole's going to bring this forward and look at the space for Tyrese Campbell. Tyrese, mate, this is your chance. He's been caught by, I think, it's, is it Naismith? He's not quick. Whoever it is has caught him. It's also a foul. It has been given. Not been given as a yellow or anything. I thought it was going to be a booking, but it wasn't. Uh, we have also made our change here. Coles has gone off for... Um, Ilias Chen, Amos off for Sammy Field. Ilias moves over to the right with Willock coming uh, and moving over to the left now. What we're going to do is we're going to have uh, Johansson run short here. Going to play it to Johansson. Little free kick number. Little free kick number. And the keeper yet again with an incredible save to keep it at 1-1. Like I said, both keepers have been good. But I have to say, the man between the six for Luton has had an absolute blinder today. But now Campbell going to bring this forward. Left foot. It's a good effort, but yet again... It's another save from the keeper. We're going to play this one short again. I think the, the short corner was a better outlook for us here. Get the ball to Ilias. Ilias chair. Lovely turn. Gets it past no one in the end as uh, it does go off for another corner. 
chair, edge of the box to Willock. Willock now, can he take it past anyone? I just want to get the ball in the box and I want it to be not 50,000 players in uh, Luton shirts between whoever I have shooting and the goal. But Ilias now, going to have to play it out wide again. Willock, please keep that on. Willock, no, boys. Willock with a great win there. Going to play it forward to Campbell. Campbell, lovely turn. Oh, no, sorry. Other way around. Willock, Willock on the ball now. Campbell with a great win to play it to Willock. Hamer now, great overlap. Down to Tyrese Campbell. Tyrese now, going to have to turn. Plays it back. Johansson on his right foot. It's not the best shot. Keeps it alive, though. Edge of the box. Sam Field, good effort. Good save. It is Sluger in net. 15 to go. We're putting the pressure on. A stat came up a minute ago. The last 15 minutes of the game, we've had 85% of the possession. 85% of the last 15. It's all us. It's literally all us. We're the only team getting the ball and doing anything with it. And now we have to make it count. Hamer to Willock. Willock now. Look at Campbell. He's just got himself on side. Lovely turn. Get it to Dykes. It's deflected. That was a pass to Dykes that got deflected. Guess what? Another corner. It's another chance just to try and whip this ball in the box. Playing it short to Chris Willock. Uh, that's actually gone to Campbell. Sorry. Willock's on the edge of the box. Here is Chris Willock. Willock. It's a tame shot. It's wide. Seven minutes to go. I'm going to make our last substitution. It's going to be Tyrese Campbell off. And I think... I think I'm going to bring on Uncle Albert. Uncle Albert's going to come on as a striker, boys. It's all I've really got to offer here. Uh, just, I'm going to say fresh legs. I know he's not the quickest of people in this game. But we brought a Domer on before late into a game. And he's made the difference. Can he do the same today? Great interception from Dykes. Sadly, off balance. Couldn't keep possession in the end. But... Maybe, just maybe, with a few minutes to go. Can we make the last push? Can we get the three points? We need that second goal. Oh, they bring this forward. Don't you dare. What a save, Seni Dieng. What a save, Seni... I don't know what Mike can do at this point. I don't know what more I can do at this point. I really hope you guys are looking forward to this series coming back and that you were hoping that I'd lose everything because because that's what's happened, boys. Um, it's another late goal that we've conceded. Another late goal. That's three uh, games out of four where we've conceded late on. And the only game that we didn't concede late on is because it was nil-nil um, and there were no goals throughout the game. Um, so... It's not great. Um, it's not. It's not great. It's not great. That's that's going to be full time. And it's another loss. We've picked up one point today so far. One point. Out of a possible nine. And we got knocked out of the cup. It's not the return we wanted, boys. It, it's not the return we want. Look at the stats. That That's the game. I think it's safe to say... For everyone's sake, we're going to sim the next game against Forest. Um, yeah, I'll see you there. I think I think this is the safest thing to do right now, is hope that the boys can go out there and do better than me, because they can't do much worse than me, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, for this final game in today's episode. Um, all I hope is that the boys, the boys do something, because uh, we all know that I haven't been doing anything helpful uh, for, for some time, this entire episode in fact. An hour and a half I've been filming, and I've been losing everything. So, uh, I'll see you at the highlights. First chance of the game, and it does go for us way, just over the bar, but the looks things it was a, a headed chance. Uh, thankfully, it was over the bar rather than under it, but, um, yeah, first chance of the game, it does go against us, and, uh, we haven't really offered too much yet. Spoke too soon. Isaac Coles, 1-0, up. The bloody boys. It's the first time we've had a lead in today's episode. The first time we've had a lead. Jesus Christ. Very nearly a second there. Could have been a second. Dykes playing it across to Ilias and it just, just didn't quite get to Ilias first. Defender got there beforehand, but it's better. It's better. It's chances. Half time and it is 1-0 to us. The only chance of the game. Apparently that headed chance and then... Wasn't a shot. I, that surprises me. Uh, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to keep players the same for now. At some point, um, Lyndon or um, 
Tyrese will come off because they both look a little bit tired. I might rest Hamer as well in the second half. But the boys are playing well. Uh, so I think we'll just carry on as it is. And fingers crossed the boys keep up the good form without me. Because so far it's me that's the problem. And I know that. What a save that is from Seni Dieng. Jesus Christ. I, I think every game we talk about a good something from Seni Dieng. He really is so huge for us. And hopefully throughout the series, he continues to be so. Great tackle there from Dickie as well. We'll see this till it sort of stops becoming a chance. Uh, it's a good initial clearance. They're going to have another chance to bring it in though. They do, but Dickie gets it, brings it away. Good stuff. Come on. Okay, subs were made in the end. Uh, Udabajo, Dozel and Austin all on for Amos, uh, Hamer. And Dykes, just fresh legs really and just resting a couple of people that I'd like to be uh, available for the next game. So that's kind of the main thought process there. But just to keep you up to date with what happened, 20 minutes to go and uh, still 1-0. Yeah, still 1-0. Okay, last couple of minutes of the game here. We'll see if anything happens towards the latter stages. Good tackle again from Rob Dickey. Have to say, notice he's had a particularly good uh, game today. He really has showed up and been very effective for us. Good chance here, Dykes. Uh, not Dykes, sorry, it's Charlie on. Charlie's number 11, Tom. We play it backwards. We do see it out in the end. I have to say, the main thing there is the result. The main thing is the three points. It was a bit of a null and void sort of iffy, scrappy game. A lot of the ball in the middle of the park. A lot of the ball in our third as well, has to be said. But the boys played very well. Uh, I'm very impressed with the result. Very impressed with the team. They don't need me. I'm the problem. I'm aware of that. It's three points. Thank God. Well, I've been filming now for about an hour and a half, uh, just over roughly. So what we're going to do is we are going to end today's episode there, mainly because I'm trying to make this doable for me to edit and film within the same week. That's what I want to try and get into the like the knack of doing and get into the flow of doing that again and getting these out as a weekly episode. So thank you very much for your patience for those who have been wanting this series. Thank you for being patient enough. Uh, and thank you for showing me that you guys are interested enough in wanting this series to, to return. So thank you. I really do appreciate it. Also, thank you to everyone who's watched this far. If you did enjoy it, then please leave a like on the video. It supports me, the video, and the channel out a whole bunch. Hit that sub button if you're new. And turn notifications on to be told any time that we upload a video. As I said, the plan is to try and get two videos out every single week. But thank you, guys. Hope you have a fantastic today. Make sure you go and check out the Twitch as well. If you want to catch on the live streams, down in the description. For now, though, I want to say thank you for watching. I've been Tom. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you soon. Nakash says, and of course... Wash your hands in what? a bit. Nah, nah, his name is Hursty. Slap bald head, yeah, it'll probably hurt me. Bang top bins, yeah, it'll probably hurt you. Ginger, streamer, platform, YouTube. Drop a name in the chat, or say hello. Entertain, yeah, you already know. Capital H, yeah, I'm a read it slow. Hursty games, yeah, you already know.